What's up, everyone? Welcome back. If you missed the big news, Holly is going to be a big sister, and we are having a baby. I cannot believe it. So we thought we would come on. We asked questions over on our Instagram story, and we are going to do a Q&A here of answering all things that you guys wanted to know about us since we announced that we are pregnant. The hardest thing was to keep it a secret for what? Three weeks? Four weeks? Yeah. It felt like an eternity having to keep it a secret. She doesn't want to share the attention. Holly knew very early on. Honestly, I think Holly and Gracie suspected it just based on, I don't know, like they could smell it or something. They knew something was up. But they didn't give us any hints before we knew. That's true. We definitely knew. I knew first. Like, I was like, I am different. I feel so different. Um, so... The week that I would have been ovulating, that next week is when I started feeling symptoms. So it was too early for a test. So I'll tell a little story time. Um, Cause the first question is, when did we find out? So we had our first positive pregnancy test on December 7th. Mm -hmm, that's we right. did take one test before. It was a week before. Um, it was the day after Ensley's baby shower. Oh, yeah. And after her shower, I was like, I feel different. I didn't feel sick. I just felt different. She came home. It was like, what, three or four o'clock? And you were like, I'm ready for sleep. I could fall asleep. <laughs> I laid on the couch. Like, that is so unlike me. I was like, we need to take a pregnancy test. But it was before my missed period, and it was very early. So we did buy an early detection one, but it still said it was like the earliest day that we could even try to test. Um, because it was five days before my period would have even started. And I remember telling you, I was like, you got to not be upset if this isn't positive because this is so early on. And I, it was not positive. It was not positive. And I wasn't upset. I was more confused because I was like, I know that I feel different. But why is it negative? But it was just because it was too early. And so we told ourselves, like, we will wait one full week to test again, but every single day I had these symptoms, and so we didn't even make it the full week. We waited until Thursday, Thursday, night. which the first one was on Sunday, yeah. and that's when it was positive. And it was right before we went live on Instagram for a launch party. So we found out, and then we had to snap back to reality and act like we didn't know anything. We couldn't tell anyone right then. Yeah, because Nick wanted to drive to his parents right then, and first of all, I was like, well, we I was so hyped. He was so excited. But we did not drive there until the next day, mm -hmm. and that's when we told his parents. And then we didn't tell mine for almost two weeks when that we was, saw them for Christmas. That was the hardest part. We knew, like Danielle talks to her mom not every day, but like a lot almost throughout the day. yeah, a, a lot throughout the week. And it was like Danielle was like, I can't even be talking to her very much, or I'm gonna spill. And like it was just so so hard to not tell her mom. But my mom's birthday was that week, and. I think she also didn't feel good or something. Some reason there was like two major things that happened where we barely talked because she was so busy and not on her phone. That was helpful. So for you. it was very helpful because I didn't have to come up with a reason. She had the reason to not talk as much. So that made it a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. So the next question is how many weeks am I? Today is Gotta be. January 18th. So I'm 10 and a half weeks. <sighs> Every Sunday is my turn day, so that's when wow. I turn a new week. So it, it is, is going by so fast already. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. So we found out how many weeks is that when I found out? You were Just, like uh, five, four. four and a half, yeah. five. The first picture I have is five, five weeks. About to be five, yeah. So we found out on Thursday, so that was like, yeah, four and a half weeks is oh when the gosh. test was positive. <laughs> So yeah, I am 10 and a half weeks now, and that is crazy. That is so crazy. That also means that the baby is a size of a, what is it? Strawberry? A strawberry. We have a strawberry in our belly, and the baby is bigger than one inch now, which also is The really app awesome. says the baby is starting to move. Like, you're not going to be able to feel, feel the movement, but the baby is moving around. That's really crazy. Yeah. I won't feel movement for a while, though. The next question is, how am I feeling? Um, okay, uh, so no. the week that we... Okay, so how we told my mom is as soon as we got there, we gave her a gift because it was her birthday and she opened it up and it was the one seeing the pregnancy test. So like literally we didn't let any time pass between like being there like right away. We were just like, we're so excited to give you your gift, open your gift. So that was very nice to have off our chest and we could talk about it. But that whole week we were in Pennsylvania, the week of Christmas was definitely my worst week, wouldn't you say? Probably, and she was so worried about like, 
because uh, you were sick before we were going up there. Not like really ill, but not feeling well. And she's like, you cannot tell my mom that there's anything going on, that I even have a slightest headache or the slightest bit of nod, nothing. You can't say anything. And I was like, Danielle, just because you have a headache is not going to mean that your mom thinks that you're pregnant. No but we couldn't let speaks. no signs or anything. But yeah. that week was definitely my worst nausea, but I still am very nauseous. It and comes so tired. You're so tired. So tired. Right now, I am so tired. Like, filming this video is so hard. My eyes are tired. I'm so tired. I slept nine and a half hours last night, and I'm still exhausted. Um, and yes, I am still going to the gym, so getting to the gym is the hardest thing for me. But once I'm there, I actually feel good, and I feel better after I work out. So just the effort to get there is a little bit harder now. And bedtime is probably 7.30 to 8 o'clock yeah, <laughs> for you I now. Yeah, I like going to bed at 8 o'clock, and then I'll sleep until, like, 6. So... A long night's sleep, but I'm still tired. And then I'm also very hungry. So hungry, eating lots of food. Hopefully not overeating too much. But it's really weird because, like, you're hungry, but you don't want to eat. And then you do want to eat. Like, she'll wait. There's been, what, a few nights that you've woken up at, like, 3 a.m. and literally gone to the pantry and been a cookie monster eating. <laughs> not actually cookies, though. But, we don't have any cookies. But I'll sit there and I'll try to wait it out. And I'm like, no, like... I need to eat something because I feel so bad. And when I'm nauseous, if I eat, then I usually do feel better. Um, and also drinking water is really hard for me. So typically, before I was pregnant, I would drink three to four Stanleys a day. So at least 120 ounces of water. And now I can barely drink one. Just like drinking water is nasty to me. So I'm having to drink other liquids. So Sprite and Gatorade are like my two big things that I'm drinking right now. But you're still struggling to do that a little. Yeah, I don't know why it's hard for me to drink liquids right now. Now. Okay, next question. Were we trying or was it a surprise? We were trying. We were. And it, we are so grateful. It was our first month trying, so um, we did not have to try for very long. Um, actually, I'll just give the backstory. So, we were with my family in November, in the very beginning of November, and we all, everyone was talking, Nick and Danny are going to have a kid like next year in 2024 at some point. Everyone was getting so excited, so we had to drive nine hours back home from that. And the whole ride back, that's all we talked about was having a kid and looking up like what things we would need and like preparing for your first kid. Like all the research was done in that car ride and like us getting excited. So we were like, and I kept telling Nick, we don't know how long it's going to take. We don't know anything. So then we were like, well, maybe we should just start trying now or not, not try now. And so... <laughs> That's kind of like when we started to think about it. And so that was the first month that we were ovulating and thinking about having a kid. So then we were like, let's just go for it. And then boom, it happened. <laughs> so it was quite crazy. Like as soon as I felt bad, I was like, oh my gosh, like I am pregnant. But how am I pregnant so fast? It was just, the whole thing was crazy. And we've wanted to have a kid, I would say, what, the last at least year and a half, maybe two years. But with the business and, like, you guys probably know we're working all the time. We're like, we just don't think the timing right now is the best to have a kid. Obviously, it's, there's no perfect timing for having kids. But we're like, it definitely wasn't that a year or two ago. Now we're like, it could be a good time. And we're getting older, so <laughs> we will both be 30 this year. So we and we know we want to have more than one kid. Mm -hmm. So we figured we have to start now if we're going to one have at least two kids. Are we going to find out the gender? No. no. <laughs> Everyone. Okay. The weirdest thing, the craziest thing to me, is how like upset it makes other people. Like legitimately. Danielle's brother is so angry. He wants to know just so that he can know, but we won't find out. The amount of people who said, just have the doctor send it to me and I won't tell anyone. I'm like, no, like no one's finding out other than obviously the doctor. Uh, so it is going to be a surprise and we are planners. We already have the crib set up. We have the whole nursery. Um, like we are planners. So this is very against the grain for us, but um, it was when we were married or before we got married? Probably um, before when you started to say it. I was telling Nick, like, I think that I wouldn't want to find out the gender of my kid because I think it's so special. There's nothing else in life like that surprise. 
and I think that I would want to do that. So ever since I brought that up, we've talked about it and we have agreed that we thought that that would be really special for us to do. So, I didn't even know it was a thing. I thought like literally, at, like because you can, everyone finds out. Yeah. And apparently not everyone does. So we are not going to find out. And now that we're pregnant and it is real, it definitely is hard, be mostly because of the peer pressure of other people. Personally, like I don't go through my day being like, oh, I wonder if it's a boy or a girl, or I hope this, or I wonder that. That. it's just like it's not something that I'm constantly thinking about but everyone else is constantly thinking about it for me mm -hmm. so um, that I don't know want to say like bothers me but like the amount of people who like I need to know or like I don't know it's just it's pressure the peer pressure the peer yeah they're pressure. trying hard but I feel like it's not actually hard for us because we went into this knowing that was our plan so it's like no matter what was gonna happen whenever we got pregnant um, we were not going to find out. So we're going to find out nine weeks or nine months <laughs> afterwards. And that was just a plan. And we think it's going to be really special for like Nick to say like, it's a boy or it's a girl. Uh, we can share our predictions of what we think. Okay. So um, I did a poll on Instagram and it was near 50-50, but there was um, quite a handful more votes for girl. But I feel like more people in our life are saying boy. Uh, According to the old wives tales, which we did a whole video with Ensley, so I think we will do that with me because that was really fun. Mm -hmm. According to them, it's not really leaning one way or another right it's now. Mixed. It's very mixed. Uh, so I don't have any idea. I would just say probably because I'm hearing more people like that we know in our family saying boy that maybe I think it's a boy, but that's the only reason I would say that. I think it's a boy. I just feel like I just feel like it's gonna be a boy first. So. Nick, but that's just a gut feeling. I have no no scientific basis for that. Nick was the first boy in his family, and then I am the girl who was second, so my brother was first. So we both have boys that were first, mm -hmm. so that's what we're used to. So maybe that's why we think that the boy will come first. I don't know. I'm sure that has something to do with it. Okay, who had the best reaction to us telling them? Did you see what I shared on the Instagram? No. My mom's friend, when she told her co-worker, Karen Ann. Yes, Nick loves her because she was jumping up. She was so excited. That was great. But who would you actually say was your favorite person that you told? Your mom's reaction was really great. legitimately shocked she would and that's part of the reason that makes it good is there was some people that were like I knew this was coming and not that that makes it worse but like when you truly truly surprise someone that's that's the best and your mom was truly surprised we didn't tell anyone we were trying now we told everyone we were gonna have a kid in 2024 so or we, we said the plan is at some point in 2024 we'd like to get pregnant yeah so that was the plan we definitely didn't think it was going to be telling people before 2024 so the that's... timing worked out honestly super great because if it didn't happen and we wouldn't have known at christmas time we would have had to go up and tell danielle's whole family like at a different point so yeah that, that worked out really hard. well we always thought about like having to fly up there and surprise everyone, but luckily it happened for Christmas. So mm -hmm. it was very easy to tell everyone. And then we got a whole week to spend with them after like with the news, which is really cool. So that was nice. The funniest person that we told, in my opinion, was my brother because at the time the baby was the size of a lentil. Uh -huh. And so my mom was so excited she had lentils in her pantry. So we wrapped one lentil up and gave it to him when Which we went to you, dinner. You guys know like a lentil is like so, so tiny. And he was just very confused on what, like what it was. He thought it was a seed. Well, you put it in like this little tiny plastic container and it was like, what is this seed? or what is this he had no idea what's happening but his wife like instantly caught on and she's like oh my gosh you're pregnant and then she was screaming and jumping so she that had a was great really fun. Alyssa's reaction was amazing yeah we were in public and she was screaming jumping up and down and then basically had to tell everyone oh my gosh I'm sorry she's pregnant and just excited I feel like everyone we told had a great reaction though yeah. it was that was like my favorite part was mm -hmm. telling everyone but I would get so nervous yeah, I was why, why did we get nervous to tell I don't know that but 
leading up was the worst part like I felt sick telling people because I was so nervous but then when they had the reaction it was so fun and the other good thing is no one had it spoiled for them. Yeah. Not that I'm aware of. Maybe maybe they did and they didn't tell us, but it, I'm pretty sure that we surprised everyone we told. We said how far along I am, but we didn't say the due date yet. So the projected due date is August 11th. Which I is, never thought that I would have a summer August baby. I don't that know. Could be, that could be tough living in Georgia. It yeah. gets really hot. I think I just always assumed I would have a fall baby because I'm a fall baby, but here we are having August baby. So hopefully choosing a school year and all that won't be too difficult. I don't know. We'll see. The girls and particularly Holly, I don't know, probably Gracie just as much are in for a rude awakening. As you can tell, they are so used to being the babies yeah. and that is about to change. Their world is about to get rocked. That's all the questions that we had submitted. Do you have any other things that we should share or your favorite memory or a question that you think So I the night know? the night that we found out, it was we because we had taken that test before like the 5 or 6 days before and it was negative. I was like we really have to like take the test, let it sit or whatever because I don't want any like I don't know, false positives or any of that. I want both lines to be clear. And then Danielle took the test and it was instantaneous. Yeah. Danielle's like, "Oh my gosh." And as then, soon as I peed on the stick, yeah, there were two lines. It was crazy. So yeah, that was that was really exciting because I was expecting it to kind of be like you know having to wait a minute or two, and when you see the line appear, and I was like, we just should you know turn it over, not or just not look at it until it's ready because I didn't want to have like is that a second line, and then it turned out not to be or something like that. And the other funny thing is that Nick really wanted to have twins and he was really praying for twins. And when we went to ultrasound, they said there is just one healthy baby in there. So there is one. Uh, maybe next time Nick will get his twins, but you can't you can't pick and choose that. So no, like I, it was just it was one of those things that'd be it, I thought it would be very cool. But I'll tell you what though. The other cool thing, at the ultrasound, we got to listen to the heartbeat, and that, like, literally gave me chills. It was, like, so, so cool, and you're like, oh, that was probably the time where it was like, this is so real, because, like, you can see the baby on the screen, you can hear the heartbeat, and, like, I almost cried. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. crazy. And then in two weeks from now, I go back f after the first trimester, and I'll get to hear the heartbeat again, but I only get one more ultrasound between now and the end. That's crazy to it think. It's crazy. Some people get different amounts. Like, Ensley had, like, four, I think. I'll only have two my whole time, and I already had the one. So, my next one will be, I believe, like, halfway through, and then that will be the only ultrasounds I get. So, you don't get one next time? No, just get to hear the heartbeat. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Other than the crib, we don't have many other things. We are lucky that some people have given us something. So, like, I already have a breast pump and some toys but no clothes. My mom got me my first outfit, but other than that, no baby clothes. Um, oh, I know something other. fun. Yeah. We So the first person that we told was actually Inslee. Inslee told us first when she was pregnant out of anybody, and then she was the first one to know that we told. And it was so fun how we told her. Okay, so the brand reps sent me a baby gift, and I'm very surprised uh, and very excited. So I'm going to open it live on television. Uh oh, we need scissors. Ooh, what's it going to be? Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> You're kidding me! No way! This is it from the bread room? Shit! Drink <laughs> Can you believe it? No! This is a towel from my bathroom. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna cry! Can I keep this? <laughs> we found out last night. Yeah, she was also shocked and it was fun to be pregnant at the same time. Even though it was just a few weeks, that was really fun to have each other. And now she'll just be like eight months ahead of me basically of having yeah. the baby so she can tell me all the things I need to know along the way. I think that's all that we have for now. Uh, if you have any other questions, comment them down below. Um, but thank you guys for watching and thank you for all the excitement around the big news. We're so excited. Yeah, to you be guys parents. have been so, so sweet like with all the comments and likes and everything. Like that just honestly touches the heart. So it really cool. Does. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.